Chapter 3-7, Mechanism of Falling Asleep. If our hypothesis is correct and the body is forced to fall asleep, then how does the command sleep work? We have not forgotten that the transmission of an information signal is quite materialistic. The most convenient way of the information transmittal is the electrical charge, i.e. ions. A living organism is saturated with ions, which, more often than not, serve as executors of information processes. Professor Andrea Meredith of the University of Maryland studied the mechanism of falling asleep and waking up. The main role is played by the activity of ion channels in the membranes of neural cells belonging to the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is the center of biological rhythms. Andrea Meredith worked with mice who like to sleep during the day but stay awake at night. She studied the potassium ion channels in their murine brain, which transmit electrical signals between the neurons. Remember, these channels act as the gates, blocking the ion's passage through the cell membrane. It was previously considered that potassium channels play an important role in other physiological processes. They participate in muscle contraction, control of arterial pressure, heart rate, and bladder functions. Professor Meredith found out that the same potassium channels cause mice to fall asleep and wake up. They close when the mice are supposed to fall asleep. Then the channels open and allow ions to pass freely between neurons. The mice wake up. This is the simple mechanics that Global Mind uses to plunge us into a dream.